Hey, me and Maria back with another video, and I had to actually write down some of my um, thoughts or notes so that I can remember to bring these topics up um, in my video. Sometimes when I make a video, I re re watch it, you know, because I keep thinking, okay, I should have thought about that. That's something I really wanted to talk about. So I have to like be organized and structured and everything. So you know, I was thinking today about how other people have their own ways of dealing with their targeting. And, um, you know, the tactics that are used by perpetrators are basically all the same, okay? A lot of gossip, I'm sure they use social media, the um, use of text messages, emails, you know, I mean, gang stalking has always existed, but now it's just even better for these people because of all the technology. So the, tactic, the, the, the tactics are the same, and oftentimes the motives are the same, okay? But the outcome varies, okay? Some people have their own ways of dealing with it. Some people are, they feel as though they want to be quiet, they want to lay low, they want to try to, you know, just not bring any attention to themselves, so hopefully the targeting and all these issues will just go away, okay? And I have tried that, okay, to no avail. And some people um, do videos, you know, they don't show their face, they just kind of, you know, type messages and stuff like that, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's all therapeutic, really it is. And it's all helping, you know, bring awareness. And then there are some people, which, you know, like myself, who just throws this all out there, okay, in a last uh, attempt to try to make sense of all this. Because my silence wasn't helping anybody, okay? And not to say that, you know, it's helping me. Because, I mean, well, I do have a job now, and I'm very grateful for that. But you know, there's many targeted individuals who have nothing who are on the streets, okay, because of this program, and it's a program, okay. Um, some people aren't comfortable with talking about it, but this is the situation. The, this gets to be so, um, I believe in direct activism, okay, this is a term I'm going to coin because direct means just throw it out there, as it is, okay, because it's the very thing that People are the way, people are afraid to talk about it. just like uh, you go to work and people are, are like you know hinting around the things about your race or your marriage and that's what they're really holding against you okay instead of just getting straight to the point you know and, and instead of you know um, waltzing around certain issues or whatever just get straight to the point okay the point is these are the only things that I can come up with that based off the information that's been given to me the weird situations that I've been in the hostile you know, behavior of some people, the environments I've been in, this, these, these, these are the stupid issues that are being used against me. So, it gets to be, like, I, because I'm getting calls and getting targeted in different parts of the United States, this tells me that this is a very huge issue and that my life is in jeopardy because of people having the wrong mindset, which is the mentality of, the, the herd mentality, okay? But all of these are based on rumors and assumptions and this fuels the mentality. And so this, this kind of struggle has already shown up. I've been in this struggle for a very long time, okay? And it's finally, like, starting to pick up. But it's still picking up with the slap and the sting of knowing I was targeted, okay? So it is very, very devastating to me because I'm still in that situation to a certain degree, okay? It's better, but it's still there, okay? So once you get into this situation, you are at a point, a lot of people are at the point where they're just broken, Okay, because they feel as though their lives are at stake and they don't know what to do. And there's so many options that they have. Well, there's, there's only so many they have. They could stick it out and hope that things are going to get better, you know, and hope that, you know, and a lot of people don't even know who their targets, their, their perpetrators perp perp are. I've read some stories where people are like, well, you know, I don't know how all this happened, okay? But I'm going to tell you what, everything that I've experienced, since being a targeted individual, I mean, like, becoming to the realization of it, especially, I would say, since working in Chatsworth and at the farmer's place, okay, everything that people, or every, any interaction I've had has always been, like, some loaded questions have been presented to me. It's never just these sweet people meeting and you develop a relationship from that, you know? You develop friendships and bonds. No, it's always things that relate to my marriage, my background, blah, 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 okay? So... Instead of me being able to develop relationships based on common interests or whatever. So, uh, when you have this, in, especially after you've ex experienced, you know, what I call extreme.
forms of hate crimes, like going down to Palm Springs and having this ish, this bitch call me from Canada and all these other weird things. Okay, that's a threat to my life. Okay, so basically, a lot of people have to come to the realization that something this big is meant to hurt you. I mean, damage you. You know, beyond repair. So a lot of people have these options, okay? They think, okay, I could either fight back, try to bring awareness. And I'm going to tell you, bringing awareness is very difficult. Because at some point, people know, they know that they're doing this wrong, okay? But it might benefit them in a certain way to kind of keep me down. Because anyone knows that I'm already the best, okay? I'm the best. And by keeping me out, Somebody else gets to have that those positions and they can feel good about themselves regardless of the fact that it's already proven that they failed, okay? Now, I'm not saying that people aren't good at their jobs, okay? But I do see that where these people fell short, I have the strengths, okay? I have a lot of strengths when it comes to my work in accounting and as well as doing something in an administrative level. So today I got a call from an agency. I won't mention their name because I do appreciate this person reaching out and contacting me. <clears throat> and she was offering me a, a or telling, you know, pitching me a bookkeeping position. So I'm not opposed to being a bookkeeper, but I'm not going to take an air clerk. I'm not taking AP. I don't want to do AP. Okay? I, and I will go and cover the whole bullshit about that in another video. But she was sitting here throwing me this, pitching this job. She says, well, the owner or the person who's looking to fill this position, it really wants a master's degree. Now, this is where it gets ridiculous. Okay? First of all, there's a lot of people in this town who don't have their four-year degrees, and they are sitting there in management positions. Some people never even walked into college at all, okay? So, and the thing that, and there's a lot of people who own bookkeeping and tax, tax um, bookkeeping and tax services who have just gone through basic courses to get their license so that they can actually conduct business, okay? So, a master's degree, a lot of people, I, I really do believe that college is a scam. It is a scam, okay? I want you to really look at some of these people who claim to be qualified and look what they did and tell me. Now, people can say things like, well, they were HR representatives and that's exactly my point. My point is, is that, like I said, we know that HR is about a bunch of forms, okay? A lot of the positions that have, have once been uh, filled many years ago didn't require a degree. So guess who's, so this is a big money-making scheme. I'm going to tell you that's how I feel about college. That's my true feeling about college. It is a money-making scam, okay? So I think a lot of times people want to find candidates that are um, qualified. So they think that that's the, going for the, the degree candidate, the four-year degree person, is going to be the best choice. That's not necessarily true, and I've heard this many times. Okay, I've been complimented several times on my performance. Okay, so, and, and regardless of the person who had a higher education than me, okay? That's where it becomes a problem. Especially, you know, when I was first entered, it, it, that wasn't even required, okay? So that's one of the reasons why I came to this town, okay? But that is the stupidest thing to think that that is what makes a person knowledgeable, okay? Because if people really were knowledgeable, they would have never, ever, in a million years, done this. Okay, so many things were violated, and I can tell you, I can pinpoint it. So, how you deal, anyway, how you deal with this, some people decide to commit suicide because they know that their lives are never going to be the same again. Am I going to be the same, Maria, I was back in 2000, uh, whenever, okay, before all I realized all this shit was, like, really falling apart? I mean, I'm going to tell you, I've been targeting a long time, but still, I can remember where things were good. I mean, I was at least paying my bills, right, consistently. But I know I'm never going to be that person again. And, then, and some people say, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and end it all. Because you've lost faith in your family. You are surrounded by people who are bloodthirsty people and claim to be your friends. They're disgusting. Um, you've got employers discriminating against you on things that they should know better. And, so, and you realize that this is a global issue. Okay, it is a very serious issue. It's gotten way out of hand. Some people choose that route. And I would not do that, but I will tell you, I don't blame them. Okay, and for these people, I would never judge them one way or the other. Because this is a very hard program. Okay, it is one that is designed to destroy a person. 
So that's why I believe in educating people. Maybe, and, and with the eye and understanding that no matter what I do, it may not be of any help. Okay? But all I'm saying is that I believe in, since if you're going to go down, you need to go down letting people know that your name is clear. Because most of these people who are targeted individuals are being targeted for things that they have no right, nobody has the right to target them for. You don't have the right to question my religious beliefs. You don't have the right to pick apart my marriage. You don't have the right to even know anything about my marriage. You have no right to know anything other than what I put on that job application or what I'm talking to you and discussing on my resume. I understand people have an interest in other people, okay? But what this happened to me is just downright intrusive, okay? And then this is where I can debunk that college bullshit theory. Okay? Because many people who've had their master's degrees, who claim to have these certifications, you know, by some of these professional, uh, professional affiliated type organizations, they got these certifications. Oh, I've been certified in human resources, which meant nothing. Okay? Because if you really knew what you were doing, this would have never happened. Period. So my 20 years, close to 20 years of experience, to me, it's just like, okay, you're going to demand a master's degree from a person who's been doing this for 20 years. Whatever. You know, but I don't feel insecure about what I have to offer or who I am. I don't feel insecure about that because it's proven. Okay? I knew from, from I would say, probably by the time I was 17, I started sizing up people. Many adults that I knew, I was gathering facts from them. And they would tell me things. And I realized that a lot of things that were told is bullshit. You know, it's just bullshit. None of it really is true. It's all assumptions, and you're just following some sort of traditional pattern that makes absolutely no sense, and you never question why you're doing it. So I understand that I'm dealing with people who are not able to think for themselves. So in a situation like that, anyway, I'm just saying is you have to deal with things the way, the best way you can. And But in my case... I feel as though it's my calling to talk about it because I've been a victim of childhood bullying and I've also been a victim of adult form of bullying in the workplace and now out to the community, which is just absolutely crazy and undeserved, okay? Because like I said, this has been going on since I was a kid. So how I deal with it, my, my thing is activism, okay? I'm going to make sure, because you have to state your case. Because, you know, this whole operation works on silence, okay? They're sitting here gossiping, making up all kinds of bullshit, and they're holding things against you, and they're putting, you know, ridiculous standards, imposing standards on you, like, for example, unless you come out and tell me that you wanted me to change my last name or, or some bullshit like that, how am I supposed to know that? My own family's never bringing this stuff up to me, okay? So it's bullshit that they're trying to find any reason to keep me out, keep the best one out of the workforce is what they're trying to do. Because, you know what, she only has, she's only been in college for two years, and we've been here for four years, and, you know, if, if she gets something, then I make us look bad. Yeah, you already look bad in front of everybody who wants to see this video. Okay? You look terrible, okay? You look downright murderous and foolish. So, anyway, I just wanted to vent and talk about my frustrations and how, you know, we do have options. We do have the decision to keep things to ourselves, or we can kind of move forward, okay? But I personally believe that these perpetrators thrive in your silence, okay? The more you're quiet, the more they take advantage of the situation, okay? I was doing it as a favor to them because I felt like it was a, an agreement, okay? I tell you this, that I'm not going to say anything about this issue even though I had every right to scream discrimination loud and clear. And then you, in turn, just, you know, verify my reference and keep it moving. Okay? No, 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 couldn't do that. Okay? So this belligerent fool created all these problems at my workplace, and then he's going to sit here and create all this other drama. Okay? He deserves to be sued a million times over. Period. He should be passing that fucking farm over to me. Okay? I shouldn't even be sitting here asking or, or looking for a job. Okay? People should be calling me. And I, I'm not trying to say, like, well, if people owe me anything, because I'm not even thinking about trying to conjure that bullshit up in your mind, okay? But obviously something wrong happened here, okay? And it's the same case with the other targeted individuals, so they need to figure it out what they want to do, whatever their comfort level is, that, whatever their comfort level allows them to do. 
I don't have those boundaries. So thank goodness I was born with that little part of my brain that wasn't there, you know, <laughs> that allows me to be the work person that I am because I'm very vocal. I don't have respect for people who, who, who do this sort of thing. I don't. I don't have any respect for them. So that, that, that's, you're probably wondering, how did she get the strength to sit here and say all that and then walk out in the public? Why? Because when people are that low, there is no reason for me to fear them, to feel ashamed in front of them, to feel anything about you at all. Okay, what I feel is extreme disgust and fear, okay, that somebody would actually wreck my life. So I got a letter from the IRS again, a million of them. They're piling up in my file box, right? At this point, I don't even care. I threw it straight in the trash, okay? I don't care if it had my Social Security number because the collective has sat there and destroyed my credit, so it doesn't matter anymore, you know? So fuck you. Okay? That's how bad that these people, this is how much these people destroy your life. You know? And they just sit there and they think nothing of it. Why they sit there in their little, you know, their, their Lexus and their Mercedes Benz and they're sitting here talking about all their material objects, you know, and they're sitting here, you know, saying, oh, she doesn't have an iPhone. No shit, because I'm under your fucking system. My deranged sister that you sat here and let stalk me. By the way, somebody did let me have an iPhone when I worked at a place, and it's like, I, it's overrated. I'm sorry, it just is. So anyway, wrapping this video up, really just had to let that out, and it feels good to do that. So take care. Bye-bye.